Hello, I'm going to show you how to use the Nekotani Carrier, which is a fantastic carrier, especially if you have a small baby. It is designed to carry babies from 2.5 kilos or small babies. Uh, it's not a carrier that's going to last forever, but it's really great for small ones. It's designed to carry on the front. You could do a hip carry, but it's not designed for facing out or carry from the back. So I'm going to show you how to adjust it, how to do a front carry. There's two different techniques, and then I'm going to show you how to feed in it as well. So first, what you need to do is to set your waist belt. So if you go in there, you can see you've got Velcro tabs. And the base can be made as small or as wide as you need. So what you would want is the base to support your baby from knee to knee. So baby sitting in a nice deep seat, supported like that from knee to knee. So this you will need to adjust for your baby. Quick way to do that is you lie the carrier flat on the floor, and you pop your baby on top and you can see how wide you need to make uh, the base. This you don't need to change for quite a while. As baby grows, you gradually make it a little bit wider. So this bit is always right behind the knee and we don't want legs hanging, nor do we want legs split apart. So that's how you start and then the front is also very adjustable let me show you oh, sorry this way so you can grow with the baby or you can make it as small as you need super super flexible it's micro adjustable so you just make it as tall as you need this you can see once your baby's in it it's a bit easier to see it that way and before you start you want to leave a little bit of hanging so the straps are like this and we're going to be pulling you're going to be pulling this part so you need to have it long enough so you can reach so this again a couple of tries and see how much hanging you want to have and then i'm going to do the same here like that so i've got enough space to clip on the baby's bum or on the sides and enough to be able to tighten there are two options with this carrier in terms of how we clip it. Either we're going to come with the buckle and clip on the baby's bum, which is quite nice when babies are very small, may give them better support. Also, if you are a breastfeeding parent and you find that straps and webbing digs into your breast and it's uncomfortable, it's quite a nice way uh, to use that. As baby gets bigger, we can clip here into the waist belt. So that might give you a little bit uh, more support but you can see, see what works for you. So I'm going to grab it, flip it so I want the label to be like that against my body. And then I'm going to bring it round and I'm going to bring the buckle through the elastic band. So this is important because if something happens, the elastic band will hold things together. So try to remember. You clip and then you can see what you're doing on your front. As you get more experience, you can do it on your back. But you want to pull, same direction, just slightly angled. Like that, hold it. And then turn it around. Always, you, once you get the hang of it, you can go straight to your back. Make sure you're sitting on your waist and on your hips. I think I'm pretty much ready for my baby. So I'm going to grab my very small demo doll. That. I'm going to bring my baby on me. So really, really take your time. Make sure it's well supported. And we sit into the panel, not on top of the waist belt, into the panel. Nice deep seat. We want bum load on the knees, roughly like that. And you can see the base is supporting my baby from knee to knee without forcing the hips apart. So it's very respectful of the baby's natural positioning. Panel should be, I'm gonna make it slightly taller. And it should be just here, just under the earlobe. Nothing higher, so we can keep the airways clear. So roughly here. Whole baby, and then we're going to clip. So it is a cross strap carrier. So I'll show you how it works. Flip it over your shoulder. Switch hands. You're going to go to your back. Pull down, slide across your back. I can just bring it just on the baby's bottom and hold it with one finger. And then same here. Bring round and then this is how we clip on the baby's bum. Grab both, give a little tug, so it's nice and snug, and you're just gonna clip here. 
like that. And then the way you tighten is by going onto your back and you're going to pull the straps like that until it feels nice and snug. You can also spread the fabric on your shoulders if you want. So it feels very much like a stretchy wrap. So that's one technique. Second technique is to clip here. I'm just going to unclip this and I'm going to go and clip here. Again, I want to tighten. around always make sure baby supported and then again I'm going to tighten so make sure it's nice and snug like that you probably will have quite a lot of uh, hanging so we are here and you see there's nothing against the breast as well so quite nice for extra head support keep your hands off the face you can use the hood roll it inside and tuck it in like this. So you've got a little bit more support around the neck. Avoid putting it over the face. If you do need to use it as your baby gets bigger, I would always advise you to do half. And then you've got these little tabs here, you can just attach it like that. All right, so this is how to pop baby in. To feed, you want to just loosen. So you're gonna grab this lip. Oh baby, loosen. On each side, like that, Jup. And if you are breastfeeding, you can just lower baby down, lower your waist belt until you are nose to nipple. To pull baby, make sure head and spine are aligned and you can see baby's nose. If that straps the nose you, you can take it off. A bit more space, it's quite nice. Bring it around and then be tightened. If you prefer doing it cross cradle, you can. So if you wanted to bottle feed, you can do all of that, but just make sure you've got a space for the bottle. You can feed like that, or you can use your elbow to support baby. Cross cradle, we stay in that position. Lift. I really take your time to do that. You're gonna to need to make sure this is removed. So you've gone across your back like that. And you support baby, hands on the breast. And you can feed like that, or you can feed like that. If you want to be tight in any part of it, absolutely go ahead. Make sure baby isn't too pressed, but well supported. Again, bottle feeding. You could sit baby up if you prefer feeding cross cradle. You still need to support baby with your elbow and you can have the bottle, but it's nice, it gives you some relief. To go back into a carrying position, bring baby over your shoulder. I'm just going to put the legs back in, sit baby down again, arm back through the strap. And if you've lowered your waist belt, bring it back up and be tightened. You know, you pull this way all the way and then be tightened. You shoulder straps on each side. Okay, good. Now, safety, make sure that the car is tight, so baby should feel nice and close against you. You shouldn't be able to fit a whole fist between you and baby, but you can fit one hand flat, that's okay. If your baby's sliding or you feel like you need to hold them, you need to tighten more. So that is tight. In view at all times, so make sure you can always see baby's airways. They should never be covered by fabric, that's why you avoid hoods. You can do it on the back of the head, roll it in. Make sure you can always see baby's airways head to the side so you can see that. Two fingers between chin and chest. So baby isn't slumping and when the airways are clear. So always a little gap, head to the side, head well supported. Use that little hood. Close enough to kiss. That's the height. We want baby to be roughly here so that we know baby's well supported and then we can see the airways and we know it's tight as well. And supported back, make sure baby is supported from knee to knee to under the earlobe, nothing lower, otherwise baby could be uh, sl slumming the head back. And that's about it. To take baby out, you can either loosen, so you lift that little lid thing, loosen, take your arms out, lift baby, or you can unclip, but always make sure you've got one hand on baby, unclip one side, take baby out, or unclip both sides. 
take the idea out. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. Bye.